Okay, now that we've got some drums within our arrangement, let's start building up some beats. To do this, I'm gonna show you a new panel, and that's known as the Beat Builder. If you hold down the Command button and tap 1, this Beat Builder panel appears that includes the Bar Form List and Beat Form Sequencer, two sections that you're gonna use a lot. In fact, these are the main ones I used to build up the introduction video. So. It, before we start dropping in beats though, let's go ahead and get our loop set up because we want to be able to cycle those beats and build it up, right? So we've got loop locators that work very similarly to how they work within like Reason or Cubase and so on. You can of course drag them along to set up the range in which the loop is going to occur. So dragging here, thumbnail, dragging here. Or you can also use the start to drag things along and the length to modify, of course. The way that I tend to like to work though, let's say if we're loop locators over here, I like to select a measure and then hold on the shift button and select the last, and then do command L, which is an Ableton shortcut. There's a lot of similarities between Liquid Rhythm and Ableton. So if you're an Ableton guy, you're gonna have a lot of fun. If you're not, the shortcuts are simple and I think you're gonna have no problem whatsoever. Now that I've got the loop locators set up, I'm gonna go ahead and enable cycle mode, which of course lets things loop, just like you would say in loop mode in Cubase or Logic, and so on. So we've got our loop locators set up. Now let's talk about the bar form list. In the bar form list, anytime I select one of the different drums, let's say a measure within the lane of one of the different drums, you'll notice the bar form list changes. What's going on is that Liquid Rhythm is analyzing the sample. It knows that it's a kick drum and it's giving suggestions of different patterns for kicks. And of course, this can get more elaborate as of course you add in different beat forms, which we'll talk about later on. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start the sequencer by pressing the space bar and you'll see things are moving along. I can enable the metronome but since we're not really doing any real recording right now, we'll just, and because we're only using the bar form list, we'll just go ahead and stick with no metronome and keep ourselves sane. Let's go ahead and start with something easy by dropping in a snare. I'm going to go ahead and do sort of a dubstep beat, which is in halftime, and select pattern two, which just has the snare and the five. When I select hi hat, of course, I get a different set of patterns. Again, Selecting a measure, holding down the shift button, and selecting the last, it highlights the entire area. Then I can go ahead and select the first pattern, which is just an 8 beat. Now, for kicks, I do things a little bit different. I don't like to have just one pattern going all the way through. You can get away with it with snare and hi-hat, but you can't do it with kick if you want to have that kind of beat that's really going to drive people. And of course, this isn't acceptable either, but it's just a great way of building up. So for the kick, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up, and I'm gonna choose, say this pattern's got the an eight beat on the very first measure. And then finally, one more pattern right in here. So that was phenomenally easy, but it gets even better. In the next tutorial, we're gonna focus more on the bar form list and see all of the different things that go along with that. And then we're gonna move over to the beat form sequencer.